Hi and thank you for visiting our channel. Today we'll look into the interesting subject of whiskey production. Whiskey has a long history and has been loved for ages by people all around the world. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the whiskey making process and investigate the ingredients, procedures, and types of whiskey. The goal of this video is to educate and delight our viewers by providing an in-depth look at the whiskey making process, as well as to help them develop a deeper appreciation for this treasured drink. So, let's get started and learn about whiskey production. Whiskey has a long history dating back to the medieval ages, with the oldest documented evidence of whiskey manufacture coming from Ireland and Scotland. The term whiskey is derived from the Gaelic phrase ishka beha, which meaning life's water. Whiskey was originally used for medicinal purposes and as a kind of payment, but as its popularity expanded, it became a favorite drink for social gatherings and celebrations. Whiskey production spread around the world over time, with the United States being a major producer of whiskey during the colonial period. Because of variances in climate and crop availability, American whiskies such as bourbon and rye acquired their own distinct flavor profiles. The whiskey industry went through various ups and downs during the 19th and 20th centuries, with periods of prosperity and expansion followed by prohibition and other problems. Despite these failures, whiskey remained a popular beverage, and it is still enjoyed by people all over the world today. Whiskey's history is rich and interesting, full of cultural and scientific advances as well as moments of progress and adversity. Despite its long and illustrious history, whiskey remains a popular spirit and a vital part of many people's lives. Grain, water, and yeast are the primary ingredients in whiskey production. The base taste and alcohol content of whiskey are provided by grains. The grain used in whiskey production varies depending on the type of whiskey produced, however the most frequent grains used are barley, rye, corn, and wheat. Water is a vital element in whiskey production since it aids in the dissolution of sugars and other chemicals contained in grains. The mineral concentration of the water can also affect the flavor of the whiskey. For example, some distilleries use water from specific springs or aquifers to preserve a constant flavor profile. Yeast is the final essential ingredient in whiskey production since it aids in the fermentation process. Yeast consumes the carbohydrates in the grains during fermentation, producing alcohol, which is subsequently distilled to make whiskey. The type of yeast employed can also affect the flavor of the whiskey, with some distilleries using specialized yeast strains to produce a specific flavor profile. Each of these ingredients is critical to the whiskey making process, and the quality and kind of ingredients utilized can have a considerable impact on the finished product. Every part of the ingredients, from the type of grain used to the source of the water and yeast, is meticulously researched and managed in order to produce the greatest quality whiskey possible. The whiskey making process is divided into several critical processes, the first of which is grinding the grains. The grains are ground into a fine powder during this process, which enables for improved extraction of sugars and other components during the next step, mash cooking. The pulverized grains are combined with hot water to make the mash during the mash cooking process. This combination is then cooked and allowed to cool, causing enzymes in the grains to activate and convert the starches to sugars. After the mash has been allowed to cool, yeast is added and the mixture is allowed to ferment. Yeast consumes the sugars in the mash and produces alcohol during fermentation. The fermentation process might span anywhere from a few days to a week, depending on the type of whiskey being manufactured. The mixture is distilled after fermentation to generate whiskey. Distillation is the process of heating a mixture to evaporate the alcohol, which is then caught and cooled to produce a high-proof alcohol. This alcohol is then matured in oak barrels, which contributes to the development of the whiskey's flavor and color. The aged whiskey is then bottled and sold. The time of maturing varies depending on the type of whiskey, with some requiring many years to mature. Scotch whiskies, which can be aged for up to 30 years or more, are normally the longest aging whiskies. The time of age is determined by several factors, including the kind of whiskey, the type of barrel used for aging, and the intended flavor profile. Long-aged Scotch whiskies are noted for their smooth and rich flavor profiles, with notes of wood, fruit, and spices. Macallan 30-year-old, Glenlivet 40-year-old, and Glenfiddich 50-year-old are among the longest-aged Scotch whiskies. Other types of whiskey, such as bourbon and Irish whiskey, can be matured for longer lengths of time than Scotch whiskies. Nonetheless, maturing time is often lower than that of Scotch whiskey, with most bourbons and Irish whiskies matured between 4 to 12 years. Aging is an important element of the whiskey production process, regardless of the kind of whiskey, because it helps to develop the flavor and character of the whiskey over time. Longer maturing times can provide more nuanced and refined flavor profiles, but they also come at a higher expense due to the longer aging period and the cost of barrel storage. 
To ensure that the end product reaches the desired requirements, tight quality control measures must be maintained throughout the whiskey producing process. From grain milling to whiskey maturing, each step is meticulously monitored and changed as needed to produce the greatest quality whiskey possible. There are various sorts of whiskey, each with its own own flavor profile and manufacturing procedures. Among the most popular types of whiskey are Bourbon whiskey is composed mostly of corn and matured in new, charred oak barrels. Bourbon's flavor profile is sweet and creamy, with notes of caramel, vanilla, and oak. It is commonly connected with the United States, namely Kentucky. Scotch whiskey is created in Scotland and is matured in oak barrels for at least three years. Scotch whiskies are distinguished by their smoky and peaty taste characteristics, which include flavors of smoke, peat, and salt. Scotch whiskey is classified into two types, single malt and blended. Irish whiskey, made in Ireland, this whiskey is noted for its smooth and creamy flavor character. Irish whiskey is normally aged for a shorter period of time than Scotch whiskey, with the majority of Irish whiskies maturing for three to seven years. Rye whiskey, made from rye grain, this whiskey is noted for its peppery and strong flavor profile. Rye whiskey is a prominent ingredient in cocktails and is generally linked with the United States. Each variety of whiskey has a distinct flavor profile that is influenced by the materials used, the production processes used, and the time of maturing. The type of grain used, the region of production, the length of maturing, and the type of barrel used for aging are some of the significant distinctions amongst whiskies. There is a whiskey to suit your taste preferences, whether you favor the smooth and sweet flavors of bourbon, the smoky and peaty qualities of scotch, the creamy and silky flavors of Irish whiskey, or the spicy and powerful flavors of rye whiskey. You can choose the best whiskey for you by studying different varieties of whiskey and comparing their flavor profiles. To summarize, whiskey production is a difficult and intriguing process that blends distillation technology with the art of aging and blending. Every step of whiskey manufacturing is meticulously addressed, from the selection of high-quality ingredients to the stringent management of the production process, in order to create the finest and most flavorful spirits imaginable. Aging is an important part of the whiskey production process since it helps to improve the flavor and character of the whiskey over time. The time of age varies depending on the type of whiskey, but it is an important element of the process that contributes to the rich and nuanced tastes that have made whiskey so popular. Whether you're a seasoned whiskey expert or just starting out, there's always something new to learn in the world of whiskey. Drinking several whiskeys, visiting a distillery, and learning more about the whiskey making process are all excellent ways to increase your enthusiasm for this incredible beverage. Thank you for viewing, and we hope you found this video to be both instructive and entertaining. If you like this video, please like and remember to subscribe to our channel for more great material. Cheers until next time.